Hey everybody, it's Friday, and so I'm going to answer some of your questions again, some of the questions I've been getting on Instagram. Um, one of the questions I get a lot is, why does my hair do this at the front? I don't have an answer to that one, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is Photoshop related. Maybe you can hear my dog drinking water behind me. That answers the question of, what's that sound? So, Photoshop. Um, so what I'm going to do this weekend, I had an idea for a little project, and it's really, um, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, paper dolls. So uh, I'm going to draw a guy, and then I'm going to give him a bunch of different outfits. Uh, I got some suggestions on Instagram today about making all the outfits based off of um, old, old video game characters. So I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how I would do such a thing and um, how I use layers and groups and those types of things to sort of create many images over top of one. So if you're new to Photoshop, um, this may be a good way for you to sort of learn about that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What are you doing this weekend? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw a character that I can use as a base for a bunch of other drawings on top of it. So I've sketched this guy really quickly. Kind of feels about right. Um, and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a complete version of him. Now when I do it, what I'm going to be doing is drawing parts of him on different layers. And I'll explain that as I go, but basically I'm going to want some pieces on different layers so that I can turn them on and off. So there's my layers. I'm just going to get rid of these because those were all just sort of working ones. So you see what I did here was I put him, I drew him on a layer over top of the background. Now I'm going to take it and then I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 10%. So it's like tracing. But it's legit because I drew it in the first place. So it's okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer. Now you can do it down here on the layer uh, palette. Or you can use the hotkeys. I really recommend that you force yourself to learn hotkeys in Photoshop because they're really valuable. Um, now if you're a Mac person, sorry, can't remember the keys. I'm a nerdy video game making um, PC guy. So to make a new layer in, uh, in Photoshop on a PC, it's Control shift n and that's going to bring up the new um, layer menu. I don't usually name them, I just sort of make them. There you go. So I have, another, I have a new layer on top of uh, the gray drawing. Uh, again, you can always go down here and just click on this and that'll give you the same point. And it'll give you a new layer. But we're going to go with this one for now. F7, by the way, turns the layer palette on and off. So let's turn it off. Don't need it. Now I'm going to take my brush, the brush that I like, that you all know about because you've watched the other tutorials. And I'm going to start drawing this guy. Just more of a clean version of him. And I'll let you know when I get to the point when I want to draw something on a new layer. Okay, so now I'm at the point when I want to do a new layer. So again, I'm going to bring up a new one. And I'm going to actually name these ones because I want to keep track of it. Eyebrows. Because I don't know what I'm going to be drawing, but I may want to give them a different expression. And it's going to be a pain if I have to erase it, erase the eyebrows off the main drawing over and over again. So I'm just going to draw these ones on a new layer. And then the next one I'm going to do with the arms. So I'm going to call this one left arm. Left to me. I know left and right. My left. Stage left? 
stage left. So this way I can just turn this one on or off. You get the idea, depending on the drawing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I actually don't know what I'm going to do with these guys yet. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, so there's left arm. Here comes right arm. Right arm. I just made a hilarious joke if you didn't notice. You notice I don't trace exactly, it's okay. The, for me, the, the looser sketch is just sort of a guideline. Okay, so there's the arms. And now we'll we'll just do the legs. And do them both in one layer, it doesn't matter. And there you have it. There's the base guy. So let's go in here again, turn off the tracing layer and take a look at him. So and we better call this one base actually so I should be naming these layers I totally lied so now that I have the base <coughs> and they're all in different pieces oh, sorry about that I can turn those on and off got it the way I like it okay good now what I'm gonna do is group these guys so I select all the layers so I click on one I hold down shift and I click on the last one and it selects everything in between and I go control G or uh, on Apple it's actually uh, command G boink and it's a group now you can see there so I'm just gonna go in and name the group um, base there you go so there's the base 